We're going to go on a little hike today and we're going to have some what I call trail talk. Having a busy life often leads to stress, burnout, and exhaustion, which in return can give you depression and anxiety. There are ways in which you could reduce your stress and endless worries. And on this hike, I would like to talk about the four things that I do that reduce my worries and stress. As soon as we try to force our path, we are going against nature and bringing trouble to ourselves. Not only do we try to control nature to our own liking, we would like to control the things that we clearly have no control over, like fate and things outside of our environment. We get obsessed with having control. We need to learn to let go. And I am fully aware of this, totally easier said than done. I am constantly working on this with myself. But trust me, I know there's a path and a purpose for each one of us. Nature will take care of itself. Without interference from us, our path will present itself. My first thing is that I have noticed that we have become obsessed with finding happiness. I don't know, it seems like a fad lately or something. I'm not really sure what it is, but we are obsessed with it. And our efforts to achieve it can wear us out. Trust me, because I think I was one of those people. We are willing to let go of control to find happiness, which is exactly the reason why we aren't. So in our efforts to not be unhappy, it's generating worry and stress. What you think might be happiness, like wealth and fame, might even give you more stress and more anxiety. Let's move with nature instead of against it. When you need to cross a river, you're hiking and you need to cross this river, you're not just gonna swim against the current, you're gonna swim with the current and you'll find yourself less worn out when you get to the other side. Our goal is to have an easier life with less worries. Second, we need to acknowledge that everything is out of our control and sometimes We need to do absolutely nothing. And yes, I mean nothing. That's probably the hardest thing for me to do is to do nothing. I get obsessed with achievement and productivity and sometimes finding doing nothing, I feel is that I'm being lazy and wrong. We don't allow ourselves to do nothing. We fight against nature and step in as we become impatient and it only interferes with what we're trying to achieve. I will give you an example. When I was younger and in grade school, and I know you guys have done this too, you planted a bean sprout. <laughs> you know, I think we've all done this. Even I, knew, I know my girls have done this too. Each student would get a cup with dirt in it and you would plant your little bean sprout seed inside the dirt and then you would give it water. Every day I would go back to that bean sprout and dig it out to see if it was growing instead of waiting for it to and letting nature take its course. Eventually, (laughs) my bean sprout died because I never let it grow. I never just let it be. We do this in life too. We push and we pull wherever we can, often without a result or even sabotaging the process, which leads to stress and an increase in worries. Our environment doesn't always need our interference. When we leave things alone, we respect their nature's course. Problems often solve itself, and sometimes it takes me a while to try to figure that out, but they do. Life flows on the designed path. We might not always understand why the course went the way it did, and we might feel that we just have really bad luck, but maybe it's a blessing in disguise. I look back on a lot of the things in my life, and I'm like, why did that happen? And at that moment, I thought it was the worst thing ever. But today, I look back at it, and I see why it was in my life. 
and I have grown from it. What we are trying to accomplish might not be the right path for us. The universe will always get its way, so trying to control it is just futile. Third, stop seeking approval from others. We would have less to worry about if we didn't care about getting other people's approval and validation. We are seeking to receive credit from others, even if it's not our own doing. We count likes and subscribers as a validation of being accepted. If we could just be quiet and care more about the praise we give ourselves for good things, the worry to get validation from others will just go away. We don't constantly have to be tracking for approvals. Okay, my fourth and final one. You are more stable standing on your own two feet than balancing on a ladder. This I am so very guilty of, and everyone who knows me knows that. I stretch myself beyond my capacity. By standing on a ladder, we are trying to control our environment, reach beyond what we are capable of. We need to adjust our inner self and know what we are capable of instead of trying to control what is beyond our control. We do have control over our thoughts, our actions, our choices, and our attitude about the outside environment. And that is all we have control over. I think I deserved a cookie, don't you? <laughs> Always deserve a cookie on a hike. Maybe even two cookies today. Yeah. Hello and welcome to Spirit Forest. I felt that this topic today was perfect for today and I'm going to explain why. It seems like everything that I am trying lately has failed in some way or I've had to change plans or anything like that. If you saw one of my last videos, um, at the end of the video the my camera was like pixelating and so I had some issues with my camera and I think I figured it out. If this video posts, it means I figured it out because uh, I don't know until I put it in my computer. And then I went hiking to go on one of my favorite trails and that trail was closed and it said um, muddy condition trail closed, park closed, I think is what it ended up saying. So then I ended up here and I've never been on this trail before and I thought that it was kind of cool and and I had to I got here and there was no parking and I had to drive around and park down towards the city and like walk up here so it was a bit of a walk just to get to the trailhead but you know I really like it up here I've never been up here and I've always thought of hiking this area so you know things just turn out the way they're supposed to turn out and you really can't control things. And I'm one of those type of people, it's just part of my personality is like, I plan things and I control things and I want things to go perfect and I want it to go a certain way. And when it doesn't go that way, especially in the past, I was really upset about it. Like if I made plans with my friends and then my friends canceled on me, I was very upset about it, <laughs> you know? And then after a time, I just realized that there is there is no control. There's an illusion of control, but there's really no control. And you need to stop worrying about things. And so today is one of those days where I'm just rolling with it. I don't know if this camera is going to work today and I hope I don't have to buy another camera and we're going to find out if I this pit video posts because I'm just rolling with it and the good thing of it, the good part is that I got to see a new trail that I have never been on and you know things just happen for a reason and I just need to go with it. and. I kind of forget sometimes to kind of think that way. Um, I have been told that I really don't worry too much and it's because I've taught myself this, but there are some days where I'm just like, oh my God. <laughs> Today was one of those days. But after being here and hiking around and just sitting up here and eating a cookie, <laughs> 
I feel very relaxed, very happy, very happy that I went out and I got to see a new trail. And so I just added another trail to my list of trails I can go on when it's um, kind of muddy conditions and this one's pretty much all in the sun, there's really no trees, so yeah, so it's not a lot of mud, which is good. I'm very happy. I want to thank you for joining me today on this hike and I hope you enjoyed our little talk. It's like a trail talk, but it is kind of windy and so that's why I'm kind of down here in the bushes a little bit. So I, I did a bit of a voiceover on this one, but uh, thanks for joining me and I hope to see you next Thursday. Bye-bye.